Welcome back to Physio Rehab. Now today's daily rehab is to try and get some more stability gains with your pressing movements. So mainly your chest press and your scapular press in a supine or a open chain position. And I'm gonna show you what I've been doing in my shoulder rehab, because I'm at that stage where I need to not necessarily increase load, but increase stability on the same movement. And we also discuss this on our shoulder course. So I'll show you what I mean with the scapular press first in an open chain, and then we'll go through to the chest press, which is like a dumbbell press, which is what I'm sure of you, a lot of you are wanting to do at the moment if you're recovering from shoulder injuries. Now, this is not only good for shoulder injuries, for anyone who wants some more stability and power through their press. Of course, it's that low level stuff, but it's good to have it low level because that's where you get the stability learning from, and then you can progress it harder. So what I tend to do is start off with a lighter band like this just to get used to it. So maybe just your, your normal TheraBand you're using for rotator cuff work, and you put that around something that's not gonna move, and you start off with no weight, just to get the idea of what you're trying to do. Now, if you're okay with it, you'd go for like a band that's double, a red band like that, and what you do, this is like your side sprinter if you like, which you're trying to create some sort of lateral load and some, some tension coming across medially that makes the shoulder work hard to stabilize the joint, hence stability, okay? So from this position, I can do my scapular press like that, all right? So forward, using my serratus anterior, trying to gain some protraction and then slowly into my retraction. And the whole time, I'm trying to maintain a solid position here with my hand directly over my shoulder. Now that band is trying to pull me inwards, so I'm working quite hard on my delt, but also my lateral rotators to actually almost create lateral rotation through that movement, all right? So once I've got my shoulder press moving that way, then I can go into a combined movement, which is my dumbbell press, all right? So from here, I can then go and work out how do I maintain the stability here through that press range. And the best thing's on the floor, because then you can just go down, tap the floor, you're not gonna to go too low for the shoulder, and you can press upwards, and at the same time, making sure that it doesn't roll inwards. So that may be your sort of start band, if you like, just your red TheraBand. Of course, if it's too hard, you can just go down, look, go down to one band, basically. So instead of going two, put one through, and then one band like that. And then you can sort of wind it up, tension, you can go wider, whatever tension you need to gain that stability through here. And you may find just one band is enough to challenge you, especially if you've got some weaknesses through there, all right? So what you could progress to is going to a green, or even if you're a bit stronger, going to a looped mini power band like that. So in this way here, if you imagine, this is gonna be a lot harder. Now when you've got a power band like that, then you can work on just putting it around the side of your hand. So if you imagine, if I was gonna do, from that sort of press point there, once I've got the position right, I know what I'm doing, I can grab that power band, grab my weight, and then there's my weighted scapular press from full retraction to protraction, keeping my elbow straight with a band pulling me immediately so I have to work laterally. So that works you really hard through here, which is really good and a really effective way of increasing the difficulty and the load without increasing the load directly down the shoulder. So I'm increasing work rate around the shoulder, not necessarily just what's happening in the front. So once you've got that press right, you can do that okay, then the full press comes in and up and press into there. Now of course you can make this heavier, you can make that heavier, but be careful that that's not making you all wobbly as you go through. It's gotta be solid and pressing through there and just watch your fatigue on that. Now, that's your sort of first part of it. And you'll find some really good gains with that. It really helps. But it may depend on what type of injury you've got, right? So if you've got a sort of a generalized lateral rotator cuff problem, maybe you're not doing enough lateral rotation or rotator cuff work in your press movements. And this is a common complaint I have from people where they say, listen, I'm doing all these push-pull movements now, conventional training, I want to incorporate rotator cuff stuff in there. Sometimes they just do rotator cuff work separate, they might do it beforehand. This way you can combine it. So you're adding on that stability load 
with your press load, it's awesome. Now it's not all the time, but this is a really good sort of training rehab session that you can throw into your routine that helps keep you nice and safe in your shoulders, keeps those progressions going further down the track, six months, 12 months, post-injury, okay? Now, what you can try and think about is varying it up or where you position yourself for the band. So if you go directly outwards like this, so if I'm gonna go directly outwards, okay? I'm working here, right? If I go further up, the load here is way more in the front of the shoulder. So a wee bit more super spinners, a little bit more long-handed biceps because the drag is going down that way. So I have to effectively like flex and abduct my shoulder. Okay, so I'm going to work more rotator cuff and a little bit of bicep by having myself up here and the anchor point way down there. Got to be careful though because technically that's a longer position now. So I might have to be in a little bit for the same amount of load, okay? But because it's on a different angle, I'm working other parts of the shoulder even more. All right, so that might be good for someone who's got a recovering long-handed bicep, recovering supraspinatus, like me, and I find that way harder to be up there than directly having it coming outwards, okay? Same rules apply. If you wanna do a subscap one, you just have the band around the other way. So you just sort of basically turn around, if you like, and you're gonna have the band coming from that sort of angle, okay? So when you press up and down, you're gonna have muscles that are working on the inside to do medial rotation, so in that sort of position, and that's gonna work a little bit harder. And again, you can vary it. Do you come this way, so it's further down, okay, into that position there, so you're working on a little bit on top, a little on the bottom, really good co-contraction, or do you go further down? So there's some really good ideas for you to work on adding on rotator cuff work through a press position. Start with the scapula press, get the form right, then go through your dumbbell press, of course, one arm for stability. And it's, you know, for this sort of thing, when you're doing rehab, don't just think increase the weight, increase the weight, increase the weight. Try and work on the stability component, as many options as you can, and keep that in your life for as long as you can as well. See you next time.